Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to look at removing objects from video using Photoshop. All right, first of all, this only works with a static camera shot. If you're moving, handheld, panning, all of that, it won't work. You need a static shot. We're going to use the amazing cloning tools inside Photoshop to remove a wire. And let me just set the stage for you here. Let's look at this scene. Let's look at the source that we've got here for first. And you can see that we're burning some rags in this container and there is a wire over here and it's being operated by these folks over here where they're taking a scientific reading of what's of the temperature of those burning rags. So at the same time we were doing a video shoot, um, there was also a scientific group doing readings of the temperature. I couldn't ask them to remove their wire because it's in there. We didn't have enough time to hide the wire. So we basically, I asked them to step off scene and I'm concentrating that on the shoot. I'm not paying attention that the wire is moving. It's a whole pain in the butt. So we need to remove the wire because the premise here is those rags are gonna burn the whole barn down. Um, if the wire is moving, then that means somebody is there. Why aren't they putting the fire out? Well, they're not putting the fire out because they're not supposed to be there. We've got to stop the wire from, from being seen. So how do we do that? Well, here's my example here. If we look at this with the, the result, and then I'll do it from scratch, you can see wire's not moving. Let's see that again. The wire's not moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip and click on this button here to export out a frame. And I'll call this Remove Wire. I'm going to leave it as a TIFF and I'll export this out into my test folder and we're going to import it back into the project. So here's the same clip that's the same still image with the wire. Now you'll notice that the wire isn't moving and the fire's not burning. That's a still image. So we want to edit that and let's jump into Photoshop and open that same image. So this is no different than any other cloning job in Photoshop where we're going to get rid of this wire. Now, because there's a lot of uh, perpendicular lines, when I use the clone tool, um, I tend to find something down here that's right on the edge. Let me actually do it here, so that when I come up here, the edge, you can see I can match that edge. So I'll keep doing that. And yes, I tried to do this with uh, Content Aware Fill. It did not work. You could actually see the results. So as anything with Photoshop, you try to get things looking very organic. Okay, I'll come back when I'm finished cloning this out. All right, the wire is gone. I'll save that. 
and we'll jump back to Premiere Pro. Now you'll see the wire is gone. The problem is the smoke, when we turn that track on, the wire is gone, the smoke is gone. We need to isolate the area that we painted in. We obviously can't have the whole thing. So if you don't have the masks in the newest version of Creative Cloud, you could either just cut that out in Photoshop with a soft edge, or you can use a track mat. We've got Creative Cloud, so we're just gonna use a simple mask. So I think that the, the wire is about to that area right in there. So I'm gonna select my TIFF and grab, twirl down the opacity, click on the free draw Bezier, and we'll draw this out about here. Now, if I turn off the bottom track, that's what you've got. The static area not moving at all. And we might want to feather that a little bit. So let's look at the final result. There it is. It's gone. The wire's not moving. The fire's burning. There's no one around. This is what's going to take the barn down. One more edit. A little later on, right in here, the firefighters are actually fighting the fire. And over here, we've got the drone operator who's moved into uh, view. Now, you might say to yourself, well, why wasn't the person that was looking through this camera alerted told the, the drone operator to get out of there. Well, the, the reason was I'm one guy and there's two cameras. So I had to set this camera up from a wide shot. He wasn't in that view. I ran over to do a close-up camera and I had to leave this one going. So there's just the two of us. He's running the drone. I'm running two cameras. Can't see, didn't know, and uh, he was in view, got the, the footage back, set it up, and there was no extra takes for this. These firefighters come out, they pull the, the vehicles out, they pull the hoses out, they set up, and you're done. If you didn't get it right, you got to fix it. This one's actually pretty easy. So just like before, now for this one, we don't even have to do any cloning because if we look at this footage, we'll see, if we zoom back fast, far enough, see that? That's where he enters the frame. So we already have a frame correctly done with him not there. Now, the rest of the frame we're going to uh, remove because we don't need it. And you can see the, the um, fire chief there is uh, slating the scene for us. So we just need this tiny little piece in here and would do the exact same thing. In fact, we can even export this out from here the same export frame, and I'll call this Remove Dan, and we're gonna import it into the project. Just like before, we stick Remove Dan in there. It hides the whole thing. Because Dan is only a small part, we'll go to the effects controls and grab the four point polygon mask and just hide him like that. Feather that a bit. And if we turn that on, turn that off, now we play that scene. Firefighters are over there. Dan is shooting above and we can't see him. One last thing, and I'll, I'll show you this in another tutorial. Um, th this was interesting. This day we actually 
had no fire. The, the, the second day we actually burned that whole barn down and the firefighters were fighting that fire. The, the day they were doing this, there was no fire. So the firefighters, let me just turn this track right off. The firefighters were spraying a building that was not burning. And I'll show you in a future tutorial, the firefighters were spraying a building that was on fire. Uh, I, I freaked them out with it because they, <laughs> they said, wait a minute, the barn wasn't burning that day. How did we uh, shoot that with the barn burning? I'll show you that in another tutorial in the future. So there you go. Photoshop can be a great way to fix things out. As long as you have a static shot, you can clone them out and then just use a little piece of that. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to take your support up further? Join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get your unwanted stuff out of your video.